It's like opening a CD. So at the time of filming this video, you can snag the second edition of the official bullet journal from either the original website, Amazon, or local stores for around 30 bucks. I recognize this is pretty pricey for what seems to just be a notebook, and there's cheaper cutesy journals that have bullets in them, but let's go through why I think it's worth your hard-earned peanuts, especially as a beginner. Also, nothing in this video is sponsored, but lol I wish. I'm literally just sharing tools I use that help me live my life. The second edition of the bullet journal still uses the popular Luke term notebook. It's pretty much the same size as its predecessor, but slightly more thick because of its new, high-quality paper. It also comes in pink and gray, and the new raised logo on the front is a nice touch. Now here's a huge plus, especially for noobs and even veteran journalers. The grid. This could potentially save hours of time. It's a key that's divided pages at varying widths and lengths, and it gives you the options if you want borders or not. I think this is one of the best new features, honestly. Again, it still has an index for logging down important pages and the future log meant for an annual overview and keeping track of future events or tasks. On the regular pages, they've added little reference markers to divide the page into halves or thirds, which is another huge time saver. Beginners. Do not sleep on appreciating these features because somewhere out there, there's somebody raging about counting these dots and splitting these pages nicely. <laughs> Additionally, they've made the margins wider for titles or decor and whatnot, and it still has three little page markers. Including the index and the future log, there's 206 pages total, and just below the page numbers is a tiny dot meant for marking pages that have tasks that are either in progress or complete. The detail, guys. In the back, there's stickers for setting up months, and stickers for, well, whatever you want to use them for, and there's still a pocket in the back which comes with a pocket guide that plainly teaches you how to use the bullet journal. If you don't need it, it can make for a great gift for a bullet journal noob with some other type of journal. But wait, there's more! Next, we're going to go through some basic accessories that I suggest will complete this beginner bullet journal starter package. For my writing utensil, I use the black Micron PN. If you've used Micron pens before, this version doesn't have to be held erect, and you can change the thickness of the lines depending on your pressure. As mentioned in a previous video, my hands tend to sweat, so my favorite feature is that it's waterproof and doesn't smear. Also, I'm no artist, but I've come to appreciate a good-ass pen caressing some good-ass paper. This is the bare minimum for the starter package. If you plan on taking your journal out and about, get you this loop term pen loop. The few times I've taken my journal out of the house, it was quite annoying to not have my pen immediately at its side. This is pretty self-explanatory on why this is nice to have. Personally, if there's ever a bullet journal version 3.0, this should just come built in. Comment below if you agree, and maybe the bullet journal creator, Roger Carroll, will consider. For crispy straight lines, I use this clear 6-inch ruler which conveniently fits in the back pocket and makes it easy to see your bullets when you're drawing the line. Fun fact, and I guess if you hate rulers, the author suggests using the pocket guide as a straight edge. Otherwise, it's 5 bucks for two on Amazon and you can gift the other to a friend. I'm gonna keep bringing this up. Cool stickers. I get these from various places like breweries and coffee shops, but if you don't want to go on a wild sticker hunt, Zoomies is a fun place to start and their online selection is pretty awesome. I just picked these up recently for about $3 a pop, but just be careful, it adds up quick and you can get carried away quite easily. Do yourself a favor and gift yourself or someone else this bullet journal starter package to help gather life in one place. Since the format of the bullets is different for the second edition, I'll show off my new layout in a future video that includes a simple dun dun dun, yes, a habit tracker. But otherwise, if you aren't convinced and you don't want to spend your hard-earned peanuts on this starter package, check out this video that explains why you should reconsider. Fucking shit, God, shit. Fuck. God, fuck. How many times?
times. 